El Paso Salvation Army is getting ready to send their assistance to Hurricane Ian hit areas. That's right. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler got to tour their portable feeding unit that is currently on standby. She joins us live in the studio with more. Good evening, Carla. Good evening, Andy and Natasha. Well, at the moment, the Salvation Army is prepared to be deployed to Florida any moment if needed. With manpower, they would also be sending their kitchen on wheels. Ready to go. We don't know when it's an out of state disaster, whether we'll be called on, so we just have to be ready. The Salvation Army in El Paso is on standby to help with Hurricane Ian relief. Preparing and serving meals, uh, serving drinks, and just being ready to assist and coordinate with the local efforts that are already going on. With their kitchen on wheels. The stove is right there. So this is basically a kitchen on wheels. This unit was last used in 2017 for Hurricane Harvey, but now it's getting ready to be sent to Florida. This unit here can uh, feed between 500 to 1,500 people uh, every day. Three of their trained members would be sent to help feed people in need and provide any type of support, but they will be traveling light. This is not a vehicle that we would use for transporting a lot of supplies. Because El Paso is so far from Florida, local Salvation Army will not be taking physical donations. Just because we don't really have the resources to send those to Florida in an efficient way where it's actually going to be used to help the effort there. But there is the best way to help. Any donations right now, monetary donations, are the ones that can be um, allocated quickly and be used in the most efficient way possible. And they are now waiting to be called by the Emergency Disaster Relief Division in Texas that has already sent six units from around the state. And if you want to help, go to our website and click on the story that has a link for those donations. I'm Carla Draxler in studio. Back to you.